it's Tori. So today I'm finally back to filming. I know I've been posting, but I haven't had time to film in almost two weeks, which is disgusting. But today we are going to be playing with mainly the 420 palette, and I'm going to dip into the Millennial Pinks just for one shade. We're going to be doing a like neutral look today um i am going to film a separate palette series video with just the millennial pinks palette but today in this series we are mainly going to be focusing on the 420 palette which is just so freaking cute and cool i am going to be filming a lot of videos today because i have the house to myself so you're going to be seeing the same looking tori multiple times but without further ado make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face and let's get started so the look i'm doing today is inspired by rachel Cantu. you guys know i love her obviously i already primed with my p louise and i set my eyelids just with setting powder because the look today is not going to be like eyeshadow it's just gonna be like a winged out look that's super smoky so i'm still gonna be incorporating eyeshadow but it's not like your traditional eyeshadow look so this is what the 420 palette looks like i just want you guys to get a good feel for it it's beautiful stunning i really love these greens which i'm definitely gonna have to play with this fall because they're just so pretty but i saw rachel Cantu do this look i'm gonna be using the nyx epic ink eyeliner to just create two little wings and then i'm going to come back to start playing with the shadows okay so i did two little wings that actually look pretty freaking even and they're actually little i can never get my wings to like be little and even when i like actually want to just have wings which is kind of kind of annoying and frustrating but i'm gonna be starting off with the millennial pinks palette just for this black shade oh you can see it. this black shade over here it's called euphoria i'm just going to be taking a jessup 317 wing liner brush just to kind of go over the eyeliner so that it's shadow if that makes sense um and we're just going to blend out the edges a little bit okay so this looks terrible right now but we're going to attempt to fix it i'm going to go in with the shade roll it from the 420 palette and this is a Morphe M508 brush. It's just like this super tiny packing brush. And it has a really good angle. So I feel like it'll be good to try and smoke this out. Okay, so to get this, it took some time. But I'm going back in with that black. I'm going to show you on the side. I'm going in with that black. Very lightly tapping it on. Then I'm gonna go in with the 420 palette and I'm gonna take that deep brown shade again with that same brush. And I'm just going to go right on the outer skirts of the wing and cover the black a little bit just so it's not so defined. You need to bring that over top of the part that's on your lid and just kind of carry it all the way into your inner corner. I don't know how people do this look every day and make it look so easy because like this is like looking not easy at all. Now I'm taking a new shade which is the shade Hash and it's just like this neutral taupey brown and I'm gonna go on the outer portions of the wing and just blend. All I'm saying is in the end, this look better be freaking fire because this is such a process. Okay, so I went in and completely redid the side because it just wasn't working. They're not perfect. They're not perfectly symmetrical. I kind of like hate it a little bit, but you know, we're just going to leave it. Clearly, this is just like not my expertise for makeup technique. I wouldn't recommend following this as like your guide but here's some inspo if you need a new eyeshadow inspo. That's what we're gonna call this is inspo. But I'm gonna put on lashes, mascara, all of that stuff, my base, and then I'll be back to do cheek products with you. Okay, so I did my base, put on lashes. I'm gonna tell you every product that I use. 
For lashes, I use the Dose of Joes in Cecilia. These are my current favorite. I love them. My mom even likes them, and she's not a huge fan of my big dramatic lashes. But they're just like perfect every day. They're fluffy, not too long. Like, I freaking love them. Also, sorry I keep messing with my hair. Like, I haven't done my hair like this in a very long time. So it's like. And then for primer, I used the e.l.f. Jelly Papadou Primer. I tried this for the very first time. And I also tried out the Jaclyn Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I just got this in the mail, so I just tried this. For foundation, I used the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops in the shade 3. And then for concealer, I used the Jouer concealer in the shade snow and then the brand new milani supercharged um eye brightener use that for the first time and then for my under eye powder i use my jacqueline what is this called bright brightening and setting palette and i have it in the fair to light shade and then for um baking powder i just use my fenty like i always do so those are all of the products that i used now we're gonna get on to my complexion products so i have a bunch of new fun complexion products that i haven't used any of them yet and i'm really excited so for bronzer i'm going to be using the brand new juvia's place bronzed little duo i got the shade medium because the shade light looked just way too light and now this looks kind of dark so we're gonna go in with a very light hand with this top shade i mean like a light hand I don't think I took the sticker off of the mirror yet. Satisfying. But I'm just gonna go in and bronze my cheeks. I think I need more. Maybe they're not like as pigmented as I thought they would be. So now that looks like a lot. So how have you guys been? I've actually been doing pretty good. I finished my first summer class yesterday and my next one starts tomorrow today is the 29th of june so happy pride month i know when this goes up it's gonna like not be pride month anymore and i don't think i said anything about pride month yet but that's just because all of my videos were pre-filmed and i haven't filmed anything new um, I got my nails done last week. They're super freaking cute. I love them. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. I think they're literally just adorable. I go to my dad's this weekend for two weeks, which is the main reason I'm filming right now, just so I have some content ready to go up. Obviously, I will do my best to film while I'm there, but I just wanted to have, like, some videos done that like I can't really film at my dad's house like I could have filmed this video there but like I have I want to do my makeup today and I hadn't done a makeup video in a while I feel like this video was very different from my palette series because most of my palette series videos have been very focused on the palette and today though like I just like couldn't figure out how to get my eyes to look like I was really really struggling and I do apologize for that, but I did use my 420 palette, that is the palette that I used. I didn't like jump and use like 10 palettes, I just focused on those two colors. I just think I need to practice the style more. I'm gonna go in and just blend that out because it's a little bit too much right now. I found a new favorite drink. From Duncan, it's the blueberry lemonade refresher. So so good. I'm definitely gonna get one after I'm done filming all my videos today because I'm going to my boyfriend's for dinner. Since my family is at home, I'm gonna just go have dinner with him and his family. So I'm definitely gonna get some Duncan on my way there because it's like my new favorite drink and there's not any Duncans up at my dad's house. So I need to get my fix before I have to leave. I like this. The shade probably isn't the best. I probably could have definitely gotten light. I wish they would have had a light medium one. Maybe they did. I just didn't see it in Ulta because I did pick this up in stores. But it does look really pretty on the skin. I kind of like testing out new products with you guys like in just any video. Like I don't like having to do a whole video dedicated to full face of brand new makeup because 
sometimes I don't have a full face. Like I've just been buying a lot of makeup lately. And a lot of the stuff in this drawer has been like weeks and weeks and weeks worth of like new products. But this next product I'm so excited to use. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance Palette. This is from the Bougie Rouge Collection. I have two products from them I'm gonna be trying out today, but I'm literally so excited. Um, this is the warm toned palette and the inside is beautiful. There's a big mirror. It retails for $45. It smells slightly like minty to me is that weird i don't think it's supposed to smell like that but anyways i think i'm gonna mix fancy pants and pretty posh today i can't put like way too much on because i am using that luminous blush over top and i don't want to look like a psychopath when i'm with my boyfriend um, i literally haven't worn makeup around him in so long because i haven't had time to do my makeup like i've just been like doing like my everyday makeup a little bit but like i really haven't worn makeup in a couple of days that's so pretty i think a little little overboard i'm definitely gonna have to blend it out she did say that they're very pigmented and she was not lying that is freaking pigment i look like i had sunglasses on that sunburn though so that's my fault for application i will go in and blend it out really pretty i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose a little on the chin these are so freaking pigmented like no joke very pigmented i'm just gonna go in and blend this out a little bit i don't want to have freaking scary under eyes but i still look super white her brightening under eye palette like when it says brightening it freaking means it's brightening and i didn't even use like a crap ton or anything I'm pretty sure I bought the loose setting powder from her. Oh, I see it now. I couldn't find it, but now, now I see it now that I don't need it anymore. Cause I wanted to test that out and I didn't because I couldn't find it. I feel like I have something in my freak eye. Oh my God. That black eyeshadow is freaking transferring. That's not good. That's not good. And my eye hurts. Watch me like have to take off all my makeup before I can go to my boyfriend's house because I'm a little bit of a psychopath if I don't. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Rouge in the shade Lover Boy. I love the packaging, it's so cute. I haven't used this yet. I literally still have like that thing on it. Thank God I have my tweezers or I would not be able to get that sticker off. This is supposed to just be like her, um, I think it's the mood light. Is that what that setting powder of hers is? It's like the luminous one. But it's just supposed to be in blush form. That definitely added more blush to my face. That is for sure. She knows how to make a very pigmented blush. Like, no doubt about it. So for highlighter, I'm going in with the ColourPop Extra, Gla Extra Glazed Quad. Um, I haven't used these yet i bought these a while ago but you know like i said i haven't filmed and i only test new makeup when i film so i'm just gonna go with the highlighter shade highlighter is in the shade smoke and whistles and i'm just going to wow oh my god that is a highlighter if i ever see one I believe these are the Super Shocks. That's stunning. I love that. How cute. Okay, now for my lower lash line, I'm going back with the 420 palette. And I'm just going to take that Roll It shade and the um, Hash shade and just lightly drag those under there. I'm going to kind of tight line a little bit with the Roll It shade. Okay, so... For lips, I'm going to be using the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Magic. I have another one of these that I love, and so I wanted it in another shade. So I'm just gonna apply a clear 
gloss. That's so pretty. You don't need a lot, like a little of their gloss goes such a long way and it's so pretty. But this is the final look with the Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. Just a little look inside again. I really do like this makeup look. Like I think I look pretty. Um, definitely challenged myself with doing this eye look just because I don't do like winged out smoky liner ever. Um, I do think it's really pretty. This eye looks better than this eye because this one like worked out and it's like actually like a wing. And this one is just not as good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!